good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be. How would you like to learn how to turn this set of drab data into that? And we can learn to do this quite easily. There are a number of steps involved and as we perform each step we're going to tick it off so that uh, when you download the file, if you wish, it's quite free, you can use this to tick off as you learn. So let's look at the first one. Widening more than one column at the same time. What we do here is to select multiple columns and we do that by pointing at the column heading and dragging with our left mouse button held down through the columns that we want to widen. Now the idea of multi-selection is that whatever you do to one situation uh, occurs in all of the selected situations. So what we're going to do is to point at any of the dividing lines between the column headings where you see the double headed arrow and we're just going to drag across about a half a cell or so round about there and we see that our uh, data now is in suitably widened columns and we can click away if we wish to see those widened columns. So let's go back and we'll tick off the fact that we've done that particular action and now we're going to look at the next format procedure that is we're going to format our numbers as currency. So in this spreadsheet it's a sales report for a particular period for certain uh, certain months uh, in various areas here, west, north, east, etc. And what we'll do is to select all of the spreadsheet. So when I click on this button here to the left of the column A heading and above the number 1, I actually select all of the headings as well as all the data. So now what we're going to do is to go to the Home tab and in the number group I see a dollar sign and if I click the drop arrow next to the dollar sign I can choose uh, different uh, uh, currency formats. Let's choose English United States for the sake of the exercise and when I do that I see that the dollar signs are put to the far left of the uh, cells and when I click away I see that my spreadsheet is taking on even at this stage a more meaningful view. So now what we've done we've widened the columns and we've also formatted the uh, dollar amounts and you'll notice also that I achieve two decimal points at the same time. They can be removed if you don't require them. I'll show you how to do that shortly. So let's tick off done for formatting numbers as currency. Now the next is center aligning the month headings <clears throat> and again we're going to use the multi selection technique by dragging through all the cells that are involved. So whatever I do to one is going to affect all of the others. Now in this case we go to the home tab again and we look in the alignment group and we click the center align button. Notice how when I hover over a command I get the tooltip. So let's click the center align and the months are actually center aligned now. Total stop value is just that little bit um, uh, moving over into the next cell because there's nothing in, in cell H4 so I'm just going to widen that column slightly to get best fit. So there we are, total stop value is now center aligned as well as the months. Let's tick that off as done and now a very important feature merging and centering the main heading. Now the main heading I see here is the sales report and the way we use the merge and center button which is this one here in the alignment group it says combine and center the contents of the selected cells in a new larger cell. So what we're going to do is to drag from the leftmost cell across to the farthest right column and then we simply click the button merge and center and what happens all of the cells are merged and the heading is centered. Now what we can do here is to deepen that 
row a little bit by pointing at the divider line between the 1 and the 2 and left mouse button down just drag down a little bit and that means that I can increase the font size in that particular merged group of cells we'll click the, the big A here of the big A by increasing the font size and as I do so I can choose my particular font size so now we can tick the merge and center the main heading as done the next exercise we'll perform is to insert borders and use the format painter to repeat now what we're going to do here is to go to the format and I'm going to drag through that particular group of cells because I want a border across there and another border across there now in the home tab uh, uh, in, in the home tab there is a border command here in the font group and when I click the drop arrow I can see here that I can have outside borders so when I click outside borders and then click away there are my borders for that particular group of cells now I mentioned the format painter the format painter is this button here in the clipboard group and what the tooltip says that select the content with the formatting you like click the format painter button and then select something else to automatically apply the formatting there's a little trick here if you double click the format painter button you can apply the formatting as many times as you want and then click escape to remove the format uh, to, to finish with the format painter button so what we'll do here is to drag through those cells and we'll double click on the format painter button and then we're going to drag through these cells copied the formatting as we'll see shortly we'll drag through these cells and we'll also drag through these cells and you'll notice that the format painter button when I click away and press escape that the format painter button has put the borders top and bottom which is exactly the command that we used in our in our borders now just to see how the format painter button works when we click on it once I'm going to select that particular area there so I'm selecting the borders and I'll click once on the format painter button and then as I move down I just want to add that format painter to that group of cells and you'll notice that when I release the left mouse button that my cursor is back in the uh, hollow square shape which means that I have only used the format painter button with one mouse click let's click that one as done and now we'll be using the control key to multi select cells and fill them with color now bear in mind that we're working towards this particular finish so what I'm going to do now is to format with a background fill color all of the cells that have the dollar amounts in them and the way I do that is this I'm going to first of all select this group of cells by dragging through them with my mouse and now I hold down the control key which locks that particular selection and lets me select further it doesn't remove the previous selection now we'll scroll down a little bit and I'm going to drag through those cells those cells I still have my control key held down and those cells and now here in the font group I see the little bucket on the side and I'm going to fill those with color those selected cells with color and when I click the drop arrow I'll fill them with that particular blue we'll say that blue there and now we can go back and look at how they appear there we go 
and you'll notice that the finish that we really wanted was to have these areas here filled with a darker blue so how can I do that well I'm going to click the uh, worksheet and I'm going to use my control key again by first of all selecting that group of cells control key held down that group of cells that group of cells remembering I have my control key held down the control key lets you select what are called non-contiguous cells that is cells that aren't together now what I'm going to do is to go up to the top and drag through those cells and those cells control button still held down scrolling down those cells and finally those cells now I can release my control button and click on the drop arrow to choose a fill color we're going to click that one there it's a darker blue to set off let's have a look at how things are appearing now they're looking pretty good at this stage so now we can tick off that use control key to multi select cells and fill with color changing the text color what we want to finish up with is with these cells down here actually white so back to our working worksheet drag down control key hopefully at this stage you can see how handy the control key is scroll down scroll down and finally one last scroll and the text color is in the home tab in the font group and it's the A with the color under it we're going to change that to a white there they are there and so they stand out while we have them selected let's bold them for the sake of the exercise now I can click away I've, I've taken my finger off the control key and our uh, a particular worksheet is starting to look really nice now how, what else do we need to do well we better tick off that one to change the text color and just before you pat yourself on the back because you've now changed a drab set of data into a professional looking spreadsheet using these easy learn procedures what we're going to do is to say ah, well the sales report that needs to be could be white and we're going to bold the headings here as well so back to the format and we're going to fill that group of cells with the darker blue we're going to change the text to white we're going to bold it and we're also going to bold these particular headings here notice how I've dragged through I can do them all at the one time by bolding them and we'll make them a slightly larger font there we go and we have this, this uh, cell here I could have done that at the same time had I wished and we'll bold that and there we go uh, not quite visible the five so I'm going to slightly widen that cell by double clicking click away and there we are let's tick off done change the text color and now guys and girls you can pat yourself on the back remember this file is fully downloadable for free from the description in the uh, in the description area below the video and uh, uh, it will start off at, uh, at scratch and you can tick off as you go through and perform the actions thank you so much for watching this very important uh, download or should I say upload <laughs> from this end and uh, remember that practice makes perfect and thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time bye for now